Hello fellow developers. Today I'm going to talk about using a mock factory to return mock objects in your unit tests. So I'm showing you here on line 20 what I mean. Here's the mock factory and I simply can call create the mock profile repo and it will return me back a profile repo. This way if I go to change the mock I don't have to change it in all my unit tests. Here is the mock factory itself you'll see here and I'm going to simply highlight all of it and I'm going to add it to the CodoGen context. So you'll see here it's in the context and now here's the controller I'm going to test. So I can simply go slash test suite and this will invoke the tests panel and add that factory to the context and generate tests. And these tests will have that mock factory because it was part of the context and CodoGen knows to use that to generate the tests. So I can simply delete this as that example I've shown you and I will copy this whole complete one and paste it in there. Now let's go ahead and run this test and you'll see if I go to my testing panel we have all green. So that's a way to use the actual mocking factory to return your mocks and have CodoGen actually do your unit tests still for you and produce those. Happy coding with Codo.